one to ESPN2 College Football Primetime. Tonight at Neyland Stadium, the 62nd consecutive crowd of more than 100,000 on hand to watch the Tennessee Volunteers play host to South Carolina. 126 over the balls. Coach Spurrier and the Gamecocks won the toss. They'll receive the kickoff from James Wilhoyt. Noah Whiteside and Jonathan Joseph back to receive the kickoff. And it's a boomer by Wilhoyt through the back of the end zone. And so two, two tight ends into the game. Vegas Terman, the running back. And Mitchell looked to throw with a lot of time and now running out of time. And running out of room, he lunged for the first down but did not get it. Third down and eight. Lawson, the lefty, went out of the shotgun. He has some running room, decides to take off, and then tripped as he made the fake. If he stayed on his feet, he had the first down. Carolina on offense for the second time. The eye formation behind Blake Mitchell and the deep handoff to Mike Davis. Spins off a tackle and fights out for about eight yards. Omar Gaither made the city. They'll need to go two and two in their last four to do that. He said six and five this year at South Carolina would be like a nine and two at Florida. That pass almost intercepted. Intended for Rice and broken up by Inky Johnson, who moved into the starting lineup. Well, if I recall, they led 35 to seven last year in Austin and lost the game. Tough place to play, Stillwater, Oklahoma. Tough. Third down and five. Mitchell got it off, but he did not get the first down. Good effort by Chris Clark. Who had a couple of key catches. Yes, it is. It was Casey Clausen's number, his brother, who played quarterback here at Tennessee. It was also, it is also the number of his little brother, Jimmy. There's an interception. Maybe he'll go back to 16 after that poor decision and throw. Jonathan Joseph with the interception for South Carolina. In talking to Steve Spurry, he said things have to go well for him. Played like a very good SEC defensive back. Third down and 10. Mitchell throws to the end zone. Caught! Touchdown! Sidney Rice. Touchdown reception record. And he still has nearly four full games to go. Josh Brown the extra point. And South, South Carolina touchdown. On second and nine. Mange on target. To Robert Meacham for a first. So all the potential. Marion Foster slicing for a first down across midfield. Actually, don't really get one prepared because they don't really get enough snaps in practice. Man open in the flat. David Holbert, the fullback. He's the backup fullback. Well, a nifty gain inside the 20. Tennessee driving, hoping for a tying touchdown. Foster with some nice footwork through the middle for a first down. Down near the six, Mike West. Need more guys like that. This is the 11th play of the Tennessee drive, the first engineered by Eric Ainge. Inside handoff to Foster, and he's down at the one-yard line. Looks like they'll spot him closer to the two. Nice play call by Rich. Taking some heat. Eight carries for 37 yards for Foster. Third and goal. Up and over and in for the touchdown goes Foster. Now that was close. Whether or not he got into the end zone. His second freshman year last year did Ainge, but then suffered a shoulder injury. It's been quite as good since. James Wilhoyt with the extra point that ties the game. And reading the wristband, the type is so small. Mitchell, quick throw, up for grabs and incomplete. Looking for Noah Whiteside. Inky Johnson again with excellent coverage. Motor game late in the year. Earlier this year hurt his toe. He had turf toe. It affected his throwing motion. Here's Lucas Taylor on the reverse. Little delay, Arian Foster, that offensive line starting to take over. And Foster down at the 21-yard line. 
And Tennessee on the move again, looking at third down and 10 from the South Carolina 21. Man open in the end zone, and it is incomplete out of bounds. Jay, five for nine this year. He's had two blocks. One of those was when the snapper snapped it early and surprised everybody. No problem on that one. And Tennessee. That's unbelievable. Ten-year contract in your first year. Pretty good. That seems kind of quick to me. I mean, Tyrone Willingham started out really well there, too. But a couple years later, they weren't all that anxious to keep him around for 10 years. Carlos Thomas, the kickoff return. The ball came out. Ball saying they have it, and they do. Almost looked like he was down, Sean, before he fumbled this football. And they will review it, as they do every play. Tennessee trying to capitalize on the fumbled kickoff. Third down and 12 of the 31. Ainge, a design rollout, throws in a double coverage, incomplete. Over the head of Jason Swain. It threw six games in 24 years. 48-yard field goal try now by James Wilhoyt. Casey Woods, the holder. That one needs a hook. And it's no good. Would have been the longest of his season for Wilhoyt. And they were all moving ahead of the snap. Second and 15. Dumped off to Mike Davis across midfield. And stopped a yard short of the first down by Omar Gaither. The senior linebacker from... Third receiver, Mike Davis, in that route. Blake Mitchell, the keeper, and he didn't get it. At least from our vantage point. Stand from his defense after the fumbled kickoff return. Now looking for a big play from the offense. And Terman gives it to him. The first man through. Take his Terman to the 41 and a first down. Jesse Mahalona, the outstanding. They waited when and if I learn more, I'll tell you guys what I know. Thank you, Alex. Here's a reverse. Kenny McKinley took a very deep pitch, but now he has some running room. Well, it looked like it might be a disaster for South Carolina. Turned into about a... And they throw short, incomplete, intended for Rice. Jonathan Wade had the coverage. Without so bad. His career long, that was against Kentucky. And that one is no good. Had a pretty good piece of it. But off to the left. Everybody, after you see somebody who might be seriously injured, the crowd certainly is subdued. Good throw by Ainge there and a sliding cast by Robert Meacham. The expectation was for better than three and three, no matter the schedule. And maybe beat the best team with the best talent in LSU. They're one of those teams they defeated. The pass intended for Chris Hannon incomplete. And plenty of noise from the crowd of 107,716. All four of their home games this year played to more than 107,000 fans. Mitchell deep drop into the end zone, and he just did get it off. Safety. They rule that he was in the grasp and tackled by Jason Hall before he threw the ball away. Who would have been if they are undefeated now? If you use UCLA, uh, that loss is really going to set him back. Arian Foster, first down and more across midfield and out at the 47-yard line of South Carolina since 2002. David Vanderbilt win the balls tackled the Commodores putter in the end zone. Quick throw and an even quicker hit. Jason Swain with the catch and he got belted. Junior college transfer from Coffeyville out in Kansas. Third down and eight from the 44 of South Carolina. Ainge hit as he throws. Out to C.J. Faden and a great tackle in space by Coe Simpson. Good series again by South Carolina. He worked with Coach Spurrier at Florida and was Tyrone Nix's position coach when Tyrone played at Southern Miss. They hit the putter and there is a flag down. The ball's down as well. The punt was muffed. And the volunteers have it. Kenny McKinley lost it. Steve Spurrier can only shake his head. 
They made two major errors on the play. Ryan Carl recovered the muff. They ran into the putter and then dropped the putt. The kicker. Not on the that penalty is declined. It's this week. You need one. Foster through the hole. Did he get into the end zone? The ball's out. And they're rolling touchback. Now the question was, was he across the goal line before he fumbled? Stoney Woodson has the ball. The officials are conferring, and they're sticking with touchback. And out to the 20, and I'm certain this one will be reviewed. Hey. No, that was coming out before he crossed the out. line. I'm going to say I'm going with the officials. Yeah. I think they got it right. Minute 47, the clock running remaining. And Davis runs for the first down. Mamo and down kicked the field goal to win the game. Sidney Rice, the catch. In the Tennessee territory, first down. First and 15, penalties hurting South Carolina on this possession. Mitchell dumps it off. Dacus Terman gets the first down and gets out of bounds. On 10. Tennessee rushes five. Good work by the offensive line. Terrible throw by Mitchell. It's intercepted by Jonathan Hefney. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line by Nashon Goddard. With that last carry, Foster over 100 yards for the game to 101, and much more than that now. Coe Simpson finally managed to pull him out of bounds. It well, we were all set to chalk up a couple L's for both UCLA. the Bruins and the Longhorns. They keep coming back. Ranges pass too high. He got hit as he threw. Mike West came on a blitz. All on the offense. Down to a minute and a half to go in the scoreless third quarter. Tennessee leads by five. Wide receiver screen. Kenny McKinley got the first down. Boy, he did a little dance just shy of that 30-yard line, and you decided to play at the University of Florida, where he won the Heisman Trophy, later became their coach. Sidney Rice. First down across midfield and down at the Tennessee 45. Pinky Jubby. South Carolina needs to win two of its last four. Mitchell hit as he throws, but it's caught by Sidney Rice. When he broke that arm tackle, he was heading for the end zone. Antoine Stewart prevented the touchdown. Won a state championship. Thought about playing both sports at South Carolina. Leg injury last year. Brought that idea to an end. Mike Davis, the ball carrier. He got a solid eight yards before he took a good Simpson. Six interceptions last year to be the conference freshman of the year. Little trickeration. McKinley throws back. And it is incomplete. Intended for Mike Davis. They scored on a similar. McKinley was a quarterback last year in high school. Third and two. Here's Rice for a first down inside the nine. Inky Johnson, the tackle. Pump fist from Steve Spur. Lead. After two timeouts to set up this play, third down and goal for South Carolina. Mitchell, pump fake, throws to Rice. Touchdown! He caught it in traffic. It was worth the wait for Steve Spurrier. Now the question he has to ponder, do you go for two? There's a lot of time left. Now he has the single season touchdown reception record all by himself. They blitz the two-point play, and it is an incomplete pass. Kevin Simon came charging up the middle. So some scares for Texas and UCLA tonight. They're both going to survive. Tennessee needing to come back now. Third and the long three. Clawson's pass caught. Jason Swain, a nice catch on a ball slightly behind him. Score. And they won 30 to 27. Through a big hole. Arian Foster across midfield. 
still on his feet and finally down inside the their full back again the tailback in a short yardage situation they faked it to him and it's dropped by David Holbert who was the fullback for the lead Two hundred yards passing now for Mitchell right on the number eighteen of thirty one looking for more has more has a first down they're quickly up to the forty nine yard line Chris Clark is turning the long back Tennessee showing blitz again Mitchell the quick slant again to McKinley and Mitchell is starting to three forty to go South Carolina two touchdown underdog down by two points. Mitchell zings another one for McKinley to the 32 yard line it would be a 40 receivers Mitchell out of the gun four man rush picked up pass incomplete contact as the ball arrived Morley broke it up intended for Chris Clark the lead with 251 to go it is good This one reminiscent of the old days when Spurry third down play third and seven three receivers for Tennessee Lawson zips one for a first down Brett Smith the junior PC Lawson under duress wobbly pass incomplete Intended for Jason Swain against the South Carolina team led by Steve Spurrier. Another big third down. Clawson with time. Has a receiver. Good catch. And then it comes loose from the hands of Arian Foster. Looked for him this year. Some type of curl route in the middle of the field. Fourth and five. Clawson underneath. It is broken up by Coe Simpson. Intended for Brett Smith and Simpson, the brilliant safety, timed it perfectly. Gamecock fans who have made the trip celebrate, but still. Second and 11. On the ground with Davis, lots of running room. First down. And then tackled by Jonathan Wade, but a huge first down to the. How soon they forget. Yep. But you'd have to say, Mike. Tennessee is the most disappointing team in the country. Given top five preseason rankings to be three and four. Steve Spurrier with the first signature win of his tenure at South Carolina. And it comes against the familiar foe, the Tennessee Volunteers. And their coach, Philip Fulmer. He's come into the stadium and won as the head coach of Duke of Florida and now of South Carolina and he's with Alex.